नाउ इंटर कन्वर्जन ऑफ स्टेट ऑफ मैटर सो टूडे टॉपिक इज इंटर कन्वर्जन ऑफ स्टेट ऑफ मैटर यू नो देर देर आर जनरली थ्री स्टेट ऑफ मैटर नंबर वन सॉलिड नंबर टू लिक्विड एंड नंबर थ्री गैस नाउ इट इज ऑब्वियस फ्रॉम आवर टॉपिक दैट वी हैव टू इंटर कन्वर्ट दीज स्टेट दैट इज सॉलिड टू लिक्विड एंड लिक्विड टू गैस एंड वाइस वर्सा ओके सो वाट द फैक्टर्स आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर इंटर कन्वर्जन ऑफ स्टेट ऑफ मैटर वी विल स्टडी टूडे सो द फिनोमिन ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मैटर फ्रॉम वन स्टेट टू अनादर स्टेट एंड बैक टू ओरिजिनल स्टेट बाई अल्टरिंग द कंडीशन ऑफ टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर इज कॉल्ड इंटर कन्वर्जन ऑफ स्टेट ऑफ मैटर नाउ द वेरियस स्टेट ऑफ मैटर कैन बी इंटरचेंज इन टू वन एन अदर बाई अल्टरिंग द कंडीशन ऑफ टेम्परेचर एंड प्रेशर नाउ नंबर वन विल टेक अल्टरिंग द टेम्परेचर नंबर वन ए इंटर कन्वर्जन ऑफ सॉलिड इन टू लिक्विड और वाइस वर्सा सॉलिड इन टू लिक्विड और लिक्विड इन टू सॉलिड मीन्स वी हैव टू इंटर कन्वर्ट द स्टेट ऑफ सॉलिड इन टू लिक्विड और लिक्विड इन टू सॉलिड बाई अल्टरिंग द टेम्परेचर हाउ कैन वी डू सॉलिड्स कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू लिक्विड बाई हीटिंग दैम यू नो इट इज वेरी इजी एंड सिमिलरली लिक्विड्स कैन बी कूल्ड टू फॉर्म सॉलिड जनरली यू यूज फ्रीज टू कूल द वाटर एटसेट्रा मीन्स वी हैव टू चेंज लिक्विड इन टू सॉलिड बाई लोअरिंग द टेम्परेचर फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी टेक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ आइस वी नो दैट आइस एट जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड चेंजेस इन टू वाटर ओके वेन हीट एनर्जी इज अप्लाई टू इट एंड द वाटर एट जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड चेंजेस इन टू आइस ऑन फ्रीजिंग मीन्स आइस इन टू वाटर एंड अगेन वाटर इन टू आइस एट जीरो डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड ओके इन फर्स्ट प्रोसेस मीन्स आइस टू वाटर वी हैव टू सप्लाई द एनर्जी एंड इन सेकेंड केस मीन्स वाटर टू आइस वी हैव टू इवॉल्व द एनर्जी ओके नो रिगार्डिंग दिस वी हैव टू परफॉर्म एन एक्टिविटी आवर पर्पज इज टू स्टडी द चेंज ऑफ स्टेट to study the change of state from as to water now how it is possible we see for this there are some material will be required which are an 100 cc beaker a thermometer a glass tur a wire gauge a tripod stand bunsen burner and iron stand and ice cubes also now method so for this half fill the beaker of ice cube and place it over a wire gauge so first of all we have to make a beaker okay and fill this beaker with ice cubes half fill this beaker with ice cubes okay and place it over a wire gauge and a tripod stand and obviously we have to heat it so place a bunsen burner okay and suspend a celsius thermometer from the iron stand such that its bulb is touching the water level so this is a thermometer 
place a stand through it is it is hang okay now we can give the naming this is thermometer this is ice cube and this is burner this one is stand okay now what you have to do record the temperature of ice you will find that it is 0 degree centigrade now before heating if we record temperature that it comes to 0 degree centigrade or 273 kelvin okay now start heating heating start karni hai apne ko heat the beaker on a low bunsen flame and continuously stir continuously stir the contents of beaker so we also have to insert a stir okay now record the temperature of 5 to 6 time record the temperature 5 to 6 time till all the ice melts we will observe that suppose this temperature was noted at time t1 at time t2 you observe that again temperature is 0 degree centigrade at time t3 again this is 0 degree centigrade at time t4 again this is 0 degree centigrade and after that time suppose t5 it increases from 0 degree centigrade ok now the temperature <coughs> you will observe that temperature throughout remains 0 degree centigrade till all the ice melts means at this level all ice become melt and after this there is a total water in the beaker no ice is present when temperature rises from 0 degree centigrade ok now we have some terms regarding to this experiment that we have to define number one melting It's also known as fusion now what is fusion and what is melting the process due to which a solid changes into liquid state by absorption of heat is known as melting or fusion so the process due to which a solid changes into liquid by absorbing heat energy is called melting or fusion so don't confuse in melting and fusion both are same and difference will be same means the process due to which a solid changes into liquid by absorption of heat suppose we want to convert solids into liquid so we have to supply the heat and it will ice absorbs the heat and it will change into liquid form means water now second freezing or solidification now what is freezing or solidification we can say that it is just opposite of first okay the process due to which a liquid changes into solid state the process due to which a liquid it changes into solid by giving out of energy known as freezing or solidification so it is very simple process if you want to convert the water into ice we have to freeze it means we have to evolve the energy out of that means if energy evolved then the state will be changed from liquid to solid state now third point 
melting point also abbreviated as MP now in experiment we will see that there were some constant temperature at T1, T2, T3, T4 what is this? this is nothing but melting point so we can define it the constant temperature the constant temperature at which a solid changes into liquid state by absorbing heat energy at <coughs> one atmosphere pressure okay so this is known as melting point and melting point of water we know that 0 degree centigrade or 273 Kelvin now fourth one is freezing point now what is freezing point just opposite of melting point means the constant temperature at which a liquid changes into solid state by giving out heat energy at one atmospheric pressure is called as freezing point so we can define it the constant temperature at which a liquid state changes into solid state at one atmospheric pressure is known as freezing point and the freezing point of water is freezing point of ice is again 0 degree centigrade or 273 Kelvin so we can see that the freezing point and melting point of a substance is same means melting point equal to freezing point in case of ice it is 0 degree centigrade now we have to explain why this process occur why by giving out heat or by supplying heat a state changes into another state so explanation of that so what happen on increasing the temperature of solids the kinetic energy of particles increases means when temperature increases kinetic energy also increases so it is directly proportional to temperature due to increase in kinetic energy the particles start vibrating with greater speed the energy supplied by heat overcome the force of attraction in between the particles then particles leave their fixed position and start moving freely and the solids melt so we can explain this theory by a simple experiment so we have to make a crystal we know that solids have definite shape and shape may be either in the form of cube in the form of hexagonal cube in the form of octahedral suppose this is a shape of solids and the particles of solids are here at the corner of this cube in the red balls now we know that there are bonding between these particles so we can suppose that this bonding is like a spring particles are bonded to one another like a spring this is nothing but bond between different particles of an element suppose or compound suppose we are talking about water so there are different particles of water and they are attached to one another by a spring like bond now we are supplying temperature we are supplying temperature here now what happen we know that solids have definite shape and they have very less space intermolecular space now these particles are fixed these particles are fixed at their position now you are increasing the they can vibrate from their position here and there now if you are increasing the temperature that when temperature increases energy of this particle increase and they vibrate from their position and if you are increasing temperature more and more 
so vibration will be more vigorous and this spring bond will be break out okay and there will be a symmetry will be distorted and spaces will be increases and finally your state will be changed into liquid state that's why on increasing temperature kinetic energy increases vibration become more vigorous and intermolecular spaces also increases and solids convert into liquid now latent heat of fusion what is latent heat of fusion the amount of heat energy that is required to change 1 kg of solid into liquid at atmospheric pressure and its melting point is known as latent heat of fusion so the amount of heat required to change 1 kg of solid into liquid at atmospheric pressure and at its melting point is known as latent heat of fusion here latent word derived from a greek letter hidden and latent heat of fusion of ice is supposed to be 3.34 into 10 to the power 5 joule per kg